So I wanted to show that this, these same techniques will actually work uh, when we start to look at sequential frames or video. So uh, Firefly has a couple video tools. One is that it allows you to play back a AVI file, or you can actually stream live webcam video into your Grasshopper uh, definition. So if you automatically drag and drop uh, a component onto your canvas, it will try to detect any web capturing device. You can right click and set which type of capturing device you want, how fast you want it to update, and what types of uh, pixel resolution you want to be using for your video. Um, and you can also pause it and turn it on with that button. Um, so we can use that same gradient vector example. Um, here I'm going to actually use a slider to reduce the length of line uh, for each of my gradient vectors. So here I'll just increase that by some slight amount um, and go ahead and set this. And if I connect this uh, here you'll actually see uh, how quick the the image. So there is my flat uh, vector lines that are being um, adjusted as I'm sampling the image. Um, I can also begin to change the uh, sampling pixel rate. So if I right now it sets to skip every other pixel, which is the default value. If you set it to uh, sample every pixel, you'll see that you can get various types of uh, or more dense, densely spaced uh, pixel re pixel data being applied to uh, your sampling. Um, and this works both for the contour vector and the gradient. So the contour would be perpendicular to this vector. So this is a nice segue into our next section we'll be looking at 